from Italy, a power center in Europe for seven centuries, the seat of the papacy, and now the Eternal City hosts the Red Bull X Fighters for the second time in as many years. 45,000 screaming fans filled Stadio Olimpico and were ready for a spectacle. Local hero Massimo Bianconcini got the ball rolling and the crowd excited. Robbie Madison added electricity, finally unleashing his bolt after three events, but unfortunately it was just not enough here in Rome. I knew I had to give it my all, and uh, my all at this point is uh, the body veil, and it's just a trick that uh, takes total commitment, and I think it kind of just, it, it unnerves me a little bit, and uh, once I brought that in my run, just kind of got me on edge, so I really, it's just going to take a little bit of time to get that trick down pat so I don't get so nervous with it, but uh, a little bit disappointed in myself tonight for sure. Danny Torres won Rome last year. He won Dubai this year and was the top qualified rider coming into the final today in Rome. This horrific looking crash quickly hushed the crowd here. Thankfully, DT got up, but his finals bid was done. When I go to the ram, I, I don't put my feet in the thin uh, of my bike for to do the Sarangrat Nakana flip. And uh, when I did the trick, uh, my feet just go out the bike and uh, I had a crash. By far the biggest surprise was the riding of the young Australian talent Josh Sheehan. Sheeny battled through to the semis where he met Nate Adams. I felt all right. My second run, I completely fell apart. I got so lucky that Josh Sheehan fell apart in his run too. I can't believe it. It just goes to show you it ain't over till it's over. And every time you get on your bike, give 100% because you don't know what the next guy's doing. You know, he could mess up worse than you. Stadio Olimpico was on its feet in anticipation of the final between two gladiators. A classic head-to-head -head battle with Andre Vila and Nate Adams. Andre was his usual buttery smooth self flowing around the course. Nate Adams unleashed the beast in his run, upping the ante, making the judge's decision very difficult. You know, I was hoping maybe Nate could give me one little mistake, you know, but that guy, he, he's, he's steady, you know, he didn't do any mistakes and it was, it was really, I think it was hard for the judges today, but, you know, I'm super happy with second place. I can't really say how I beat him, but uh, I'm feeling like I got this one handed to me today, like I got a little lucky. Rome is done. Josh Sheehan takes third, Andre Villa second, and Nate Adams tops the podium, adding to his points total for the overall World Tour ranking.